Hi, and welcome back to Casual Tuesday. Um, we are jumping into some Heroes of the Storm to let you in behind the scenes. For some reason, I, um, I was recording, and I was chose her, and then it cut out on me. Blizzard was like, no more Heroes of the Storm, but it's back now, so hopefully it doesn't shut down on me, because I would like to play. I guess we'll have to see. Um, I chose her because I feel like we've played these two people on the channel, and I... Those are, I actually bought them, which is kind of exciting. My first two characters that I bought. But, um, and I didn't want to play people that I've already done. So I wanted to do someone new. She's new. Well, she's not new to the game, but she's new to me. And, um, I feel like I see a lot of people playing her. She's a melee assassin, which I don't, I honestly can't point out another melee assassin that I've done. Let me look. Melee. Yeah, as you can see, I've done, oh, I've done... He's a melee assassin? Oh wow, no, I did not like him. And I also did him, and I know I don't like him. I tried him, and I I was too new to the game to get him with his invis invisibility and everything. I didn't know what was going on. Anyway, oh, the Butcher's also a melee assassin? Interesting. I still want to do her, just because I feel a ton of people playing her. Um, and also, I did some of the reading already. So I'm just going to keep going with that. So yeah, I chose the quest, and then I was doing some of the, this stuff. So damaging at least two hearts with blood rage causes... <laughs> That seems... I'm kind of struggling to believe that she could just evade the next four hero, heroic basic attacks. Wow, that's that sounds great. Okay, let's see what else, though. It's slowed by... Uh, secondary hits. That sounds pretty good. Mm. Some armor would be nice, but only for three seconds. I don't love that. Hmm, damaging at least two heroes with blood rage causes going to eliminate. <laughs> that sounds good. Am I wrong? Uh, what's the cooldown on eight seconds? Like, that seems really powerful. I guess, I don't know how often we're going to be evading, though. Let's go for the slow, though. Heals for, yes, I want to heal. Um... I like that. Ooh, I also like this though. But that's that's on the chance that they're below 50%. Ooh. Well, that's good too. Basic attacks heal for 20%. Ooh, no, I like this more. Yeah. Yeah, I know I like that one. Versus the Carnage heals. This is the Revolving Sweep, which I think is going to be a little more important. Okay, I want to do this one, and, uh, no, I don't, that's, I doubt we're going to get maximum blood rage stacks often. Yep, that sounds good. Basic, uh, increases your basic attack damage against that hero by 25%. Stacks up to 4, oh, there are so many things that are stacking with her, okay. Nah. Increases the stun duration of revolving sweeps reactivation. <laughs> Enemy heroes around the private are also affected by. Re I don't know what that means. Enemy heroes hit by a revolving sweep or by grappling hook have their armor reduced. I like that one. Cooldown recharge is 200. Faster is swinging her. She also gains 50 spell armor for seconds after. Eh. Nah. I'd like to reduce some people, maybe. And then. Ooh, silencing is okay, but honestly, I don't know what silence this does. I think it means you can't use your basic attacks, but I'd rather look at something else. Uh, I mean, I guess. Nah, I don't. Uh, maybe. I mean, this sounds powerful, but there's a lot of 50% things there, but if... Maybe if I had stacked those more, I'd be more willing to do this, but I don't really have those, so I'm not really willing to do that. I think I'll go for this, even though I'm also not crazy about it. And we'll do a versus match. I'm in. Versus AI, because I'm new, and I don't like doing quick match with a new hero, just because I don't want to let people down, because I don't really know how to properly use them. So I'd rather not lose, because some people get so mad, you know? I was also playing a game the other day, and there was a spammer, and that was the first time I've ever dealt with that, where someone was just 
spamming the chat. Like, it was taking up my screen. It was so annoying. And I actually reported them, which was kind of interesting because I've never, like, I don't normally do things like that. But it was very odd. And what they were saying was, like, I don't know. It felt like it, felt like it wasn't a human. Like, who... Like, what are you saying? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it was just so odd. So, I don't know. I t That was a new experience for me. I don't know if anyone else is having that experience and can relate to that, but for me, it was really baffling. I was playing against this guy in a match, and he seems really good, too, with how he spawns in... <laughs> Hopefully you can't hear that annoying car motorcycle it still annoys me every time i hear one of those but it's yeah he, how he spawns in i don't want to call them minions but you, he spawns them in i'm just going to take a look at oh crw is i can't even see the range on it okay yeah got you and d is i don't want to fire that grappling hook oh my gosh we're already failing okay i'm getting that how did the w work did i just need a hero next to me and what's D? That's our grappling hook, okay. Ooh, we gotta try grappling onto someone, because I gotta see how that works. I'm gonna grapple, I think I'm doing damage. Oh, it stopped. Seems like we're doing good damage. I guess W just automatically attaches to someone. Honestly, it's a little confusing with this passive and this uh, active. active. Deal damage and heals for 92 for hero affected damaging. See, I wish there was a range on it. Like, I'm sure there is a range to it. Why wouldn't it show me? Oh, I missed. Oh, I just want to hit them. Shoot. And my quest is going up, and I don't even remember what quest I'm doing, honestly. Our mana seems to be doing good, so that doesn't seem to be an issue. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Looks like she has a good retreat too, if that's what was needed. I'm just gonna get healing blow, regeneration blow, whatever. Yep, I'm just gonna, good thing I pre-selected them. Don't be invulnerable. Uh, I wish when enemies were invulnerable, I could still like latch onto them, but I guess it makes sense that I can't. No, don't get away from me. Don't explode on me either. Okay. She seems powerful. It seems like I'm doing a lot of damage, which is great. And I believe they can still hit me. Oop. Oh my gosh, get out. I believe they can still hit me when I'm grappling. Oh, so it has to be a structure to <laughs> move. It's not like, um... Oh, what's her name? It's like that, there's that one character where eventually you can unlock a talent where you, uh, if the grapple doesn't hit an enemy, you still go to the point. Oh, there's this egg. I want to destroy that. Ah, oh, I missed. That's okay. Still kill him. Cool. Good job. We're doing good. I'm glad I found his egg. That's definitely, I've played it him, and he was a melee assassin, but he was so low health. You know, and I the really struggled to do consistent damage with him to heroes. But I will say that they did help a lot that he gave less experience when dead, or when he died or whatever. So it wasn't, so it's like, you could get in there and be a melee assassin without the threat of helping the enemy team too much. But just from a gameplay perspective, that's so new for me like I would never throw myself in there like that and that's why I feel like the melee assassins have been kind of hard for me because it's like normally I would just keep my distance you know so I press W I guess it doesn't affect structures just to be clear I'm just experimenting <laughs> see I want to attach but I don't want to get within range Oh, I should have reactivated, because I think it does more damage on reactivation. Oh, what's my quest? I need to remember that. Ah, no, I want the regeneration glow. 
I don't understand. Sometimes it picks them up and sometimes it doesn't. I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, and I wish... <gasps> oh, her... I wish her things were a little more forgiving. Like, if I don't hit you exactly on, I wish I would still get something. Okay. Well, at maximum stack, if bleed deals more damage to enemies... Okay, so I need to keep stacking somehow. I need to be better with that. But the quest is damage enemy heroes with blood rages bleed damage. Okay, so I need to keep doing blood rage. And I wish I knew the range for it. Like, I wish I could hover it and see, but I... That's not how it works. <laughs> hmm. And there is good healing, I guess. I just need to do that more. Yes, I see you. Okay, the altars are coming, but there's a bit of time before they're coming, so I hopefully get some damage off here. So if I press W now, it only does her enemy hero affected. The tower is they mine. Oh, okay. As it should be. <laughs> hmm, so is there anything for non-heroes though? I wanna check those eggs down there. The I'll get the thing. Do not let the gravekeeper's cronies reach the office. Enemies to bleed for speed. So I can make them bleed. Like all the others, whatever it is. Oh sure, we can do this. I'll destroy the egg too. My keyboard's not connecting to my computer. I'm a little annoyed. Does my connection only also only do enemy heroes? Yeah, enemy hero. Oh, see, I gotta keep these things straight. You know, these are important things to remember. I wanted to attach. Oh well. That's okay. Don't mind me, just... I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand how that works now. I'm going to get you. Yay! I should have reactivated. I need to do that more. I need to figure that out. Hmm. She seems powerful. I, I'm not... I feel like I'm not getting quite the combos. But I feel like I am still doing good with her, you know? So I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh, I saw his little egg thing. Yeah, we want to destroy that. We don't want him coming back in the battle. And I think he comes back quicker too when, um... Uh, or he, I, I didn't miss, but he was invulnerable. <laughs> Can we finish him? Yay! So we have all the altars, which is great. Um, it seems like I need more of this W, so if there were ways to, like, decrease its cooldown, I probably should have done stuff like that, but I didn't think I saw anything like that. But that's something, I'll, you know, I kind of... She's kind of growing on me, you know? So I'll just have to... keep things like that in mind, I guess. I'll destroy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll use my ult right now. Ooh, missed. We'll defend this tower just for a couple more seconds and then we'll be good. Yeah, I need to use my W more. I need Our quest is going up. You can hear it chiming away every six seconds. But not even. Ah, we did it. There you go. Awesome. Um, I'm a little surprised by how... how well that went. I really thought our team would be lacking. Maybe my teammates carried a little bit, but I felt like I was doing very good damage with her. That was very interesting. I I guess those other me melee assassins just weren't the thing to jump into, but she was pretty good. And I think I and I felt like I was doing good even without some of those combos that I feel like I definitely missed out on some things but hey you know maybe if it had gone a little longer I would have gotten that quest complete and um I just want to check out if there's if there may be any blows okay so yeah I probably should have switched to things like this because this is going to be my main source of healing it doesn't seem like I was latching on too often 
Um, it seemed like I had to get close to people and that just wasn't always happening. But, hmm, I don't know. I, I guess that's just, just something to keep in mind. I'm definitely gonna probably stop this Casual Tuesday video and keep playing. <laughs> um, but otherwise, you know, that was interesting. We had fun. We're at 15 minutes now and I don't like to go over on our videos. So I guess I'll cut it off here. It's a little short though, but there you go. I enjoyed her. I would say check her out yourself. I think in terms of melee assassins, she's definitely the one I would try out. I think I see a lot of people do the butcher too. So maybe you could try him out. I see some people play him and her. I've, I've seen people play all of these people actually. Oh, I see a lot of people playing him, but that says hard, but it seems like the way he spawns in characters is so rampant that I don't know, maybe that's a good way to start though. Yeah, I would just say this guy isn't the place to jump in. There's a lot of terms I remember about being invisible and stuff that was confusing for me. And this guy definitely has a lot of combos and a lot of pre-planning that I think you're not going to quite get without knowing the game well. But she was pretty good, and she does have a lot of combos to her, but at the same time, I felt like I was able to kind of understand things. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Is there an easy person? Is anyone labeled easy? Nope. Okay, then she was a good place to start if you're looking for a melee assassin, I think. I would also suggest the Butcher just because I do feel like I see a lot of people playing him, but I think the only problem with him is that, that with that target ability, you might get a little deep in enemy lines, and that might not be so great for a new person. I think as a new newbie, you kind of have to hang back, and I don't think a melee, melee assassin is where you're gonna get that so i would say melee is a little later uh, clearly you can see i haven't played all the characters and i'm not a pro but that's just my hot take opinion um otherwise as usual just like subscribe check out our website i feel like productions and i'll see you on the next one